Use of a transfer insert assembly allows seamless integration between GPX glass processors or LFS large fibre splicers and a large number of the fibre cleavers in the Thorlabs Vitran range, such as the LDC 401. The transfer insert assembly maintains accurate fibre position registration as the fibre is moved from the cleaver to the glass processor. This allows precision fibre optic assemblies using fused optical components to be manufactured, such as medical probes and sensing devices. This video will explain how to assemble a transfer insert. Several different sizes of transfer insert are available. To assemble the transfer insert, you will need to use a 50 thou hex key. The insert is positioned in the transfer clamp using three screws. Two screws on the back secure the insert in place. A screw on the bottom of the transfer clamp adjusts the height of the insert in the clamp. First turn these screws anti-clockwise so that they are backed off and not protruding from the metalwork on the inside of the clamp. Next, using a cotton bud and appropriate solvent such as IPA or acetone, clean the slot in the transfer clamp and the surfaces of the back edge of the transfer insert. Place the back of the transfer insert into the transfer clamp ensuring that the v-groove for the fibre is facing upwards. Ensure that the back edge of the insert is flush with the back edge of the transfer clamp. Now tighten the screws on the back of the transfer clamp. The screws should not be fully tight but still able to hold the insert in place in the clamp. Take a small length of the same fibre that is going to be used with the clamp and place it in the groove of the insert. The fibre will be loose as the insert hasn't been set to the correct height yet. This is because currently the insert is too low in the clamp and there is a large gap between the top of the fibre and the lid of the clamp. Holding the fibre securely in the groove, turn the insert over and turn the screw in the base of the clamp clockwise to raise the insert. The insert will eventually reach a height where the fibre will just start to touch the lid of the clamp and will be held firmly. The final, fine adjustment of the height of the insert is performed using a times 10 eye loop. Look at the front, non-hinge edge of the transfer clamp's lid. The aim is to make adjustments to the screw on the bottom of the transfer clamp so that you can just see daylight between the top surface of the clamp and the lower surface of the clamp's lid. Once this point has been reached, the fibre will be held in place in the insert just by the attractive force of the magnets in the lid. It may take several iterations to get to a point where daylight is just seen and the fibre is only just held. Once the height of the insert in the transfer clamp has been set correctly, fully tighten the back screws of the transfer clamp. The next step is to fit a graphite v-groove into the slot in the transfer insert. This supports the fibre during splicing. Either the fibre's cladding or its coating can be in the graphite. First, back off the screws that hold the graphite in place. They should not protrude from the metalwork on the inside of the slot. Next, use a cotton bud and appropriate solvent to clean the slot in the insert for the graphite. Now, carefully place the graphite v-groove into the slot in the insert. Use a thumb to gently press down on the top of the graphite to ensure it is seated properly. Lightly tighten the screws to hold the graphite in place. 